forgot to tell you, spring wedding. No go, my mother reminded me, allergies. There'll be a conversation. As long as we're talking about your mother. Tell him my pastor wants to talk to a rabbi before he agrees to stand under that circus scene. It's called a chuppah. Wait, you're serious about having a pastor there? Cooper. So we, uh... Done. Oh yeah. We should get ready. special friend tonight or are you off the clock? You're an idiot. I love you, but idiot all the time. I mean, how can you be jealous of me and Violet? She's, we're, you, she's Violet. I'm not jealous of you and Violet. I'm jealous of me and you. You're all up in Violet's wedding and you and I can't even agree on pastor versus rabbi. Okay. Pastor and rabbi. Idiot. There's a storage shed near the back. <laughs> I've never done it in a room. It smells like compost. Oh, it's the first time for everything. Hey. Can you believe Michael got kicked off last night? I mean, his food looked amazing. I know, I know. I thought Sharon would go. All she talks about is how she uses her organic ingredients. Well, I thought her cupcakes looked like poo. They're going to keep Sharon as long as they can because she's got a big rack. <laughs> right? Would you go online? No, you gotta see the outtakes. I mean, she was weeping. She knows she sucked. Violet. Hi. Cooper has to go. How's having a conversation, Charlotte? It's what we do, me and Violet. I mean, American Bake Off discussion every Tuesday morning. You know this. Wednesdays, it's the New York Times crossword puzzle. Thursdays, it's your plans for the weekend. Fridays, it's runway. Saturdays and Sundays. How much she hates her mother, then how much you love your mother. <laughs> On Mondays, it's Margarita. We're, we're best friends. It's our thing. Bye, hey. Sorry about that. Uh, no, Charlotte had a, whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, so, who wins the cookie off next week? You're glaring. I'm waiting for my patient to finish a consult with Sheldon. So, the glaring is just... American Bake Off? Oh, I know, right? I mean, they're baking cakes, for God's sake. Why does that warrant a two-hour conversation? Look, it's not like we're saying they can't be friends. We're just asking them to cut back a little on the phone calls. Showing up at the house unannounced. Gossipy walks. Margarita Mondays. Right. We're not asking for much. So, I'll talk to Violet. And I'll talk to Cooper. You want one? Uh, no, I had a drink with Violet. Of course you did. Well, Pete's being an ass. She needs someone to talk to. So naturally she thought of you. Well, yeah, she had a rough day. Try telling a patient who waited her whole life for a surgery she can't have it. Sheldon didn't approve Jane's procedure? Don't pretend to care about it now. Well, that's not fair. I mean, if you want to talk about it, all you got to do is ask. Did Violet ask? Or did you just check in with her like you always do? Come on, Charlotte, we both have friends. I mean, you have, you know, Sheldon. You know Sheldon doesn't want to be friends anymore. Which would be fine if I could come home and know that you'd be here instead okay, of all- Hey, you're blowing it way out of proportion. No, this would be blowing it out of proportion. That was wrong. Tell me once again how we shouldn't even care. Cause I'm just making sure that there's nothing really there. You and I once fall on the same side of the world.
for idiots. Oh, it's so good having you living here. Yeah. It makes my mornings 100% more interesting. In the evenings? Woo. Yeah, they're pretty awesome too. I just wanted to let you know I ordered us a new bed today. I hope you like it. <laughs> don't see why I wouldn't. Well, I, you know, it's a lot firmer. It's basically just a wooden plank. I don't know if that's your thing, but... Oh, yeah, and we're getting a dog. A Mastiff, 160 pounds, very drooly, gonna sleep in the bed with us. Dog whisper, whatever you gotta say, spit it out. I have to get to the hospital before Troy Hagen's heart peters out or Sam rips it from his chest. Why are you house hunting without me? Pull up your bra strap, Coop. I hired a realtor when you kicked me out, and then... We got engaged, so I told her to look for something bigger. It's a house, Charlotte. It's kind of a big deal. Okay, but we need to move. What's wrong with the loft? Uh, it's too grungy. The neighbors are freakishly chipper, and it'd be nice to sleep with in a place that wasn't a fond memory for after tramps in L.A. You know, that's not fair. I went out of my way to make this place feel like ours. I took down all the vintage Houdini posters. I let you redo the bathroom the way you like. I'm doing cartwheels. Can we at least agree that it's something that we should consider together? Fine. See in a house in the Palisades tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Stop whining and you can join me. First earthquake, that house just tumbles right down that hill. Being on the hills, what gives it those amazing ocean views? Yeah, it's gonna have an even better view when it lands in the actual ocean. You're just punishing me because I started looking without. You're not listening, Charlotte. I don't want to look at all. Well, I hate your place, Cooper, because it reminds me of all the things I screwed up, all the fights we had. You not let me in the front door after you found out I was building the practice downstairs. Standing like an idiot with a cornbread chicken casserole in your bedroom, trying to make up after I tried to force you to elope. Fighting over that damn latex jumpsuit after I bought you into the practice. And we can't move forward if that's staring me in the face every day. You never told me any of this. Now you know. Hey, you got a busy day tomorrow? Not really. Good, because I had the realtor set up some appointments. So. Why? Tattled to about her fight and she told you to make nice? No. If you're unhappy here, we'll move. But the truth is, I don't see what you see. I mean, every time I walk through that front door with you, I remember the first time I brought you here and how excited I was. In the bedroom, it doesn't remind me of makeup casseroles and catsuit tug of wars. It reminds me of the first time we had sex. And for me, now that you're here, everything just feels right. How about we make a new memory? Mm-hmm. 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 I'm horny. Want a quickie? Oh, Emily Post would be proud. <laughs> Hey, do you think we should, um... Let's talk. More hands. Do you think we should do something? I'm trying to do something. Uh, I mean, about Betsy? Mm. I mean, you know if it was our kid, Del would step up. We don't have kids, Cooper. Okay, if we did... It's just he's here, and every time I look at her, I think... That... Yeah, you hate me right now, don't you? A thousand things about you make me want to pull my hair out. But you caring too much. Not one of them. I'm not getting late, Emma. When you're feeling randy, you know where to find me. Violet wants to adopt her. Pete doesn't. Pete's a smart man. You realize I was adopted. That's what this is about. Some kind of pay it forward obligation. I don't want Betsy. 
Then why'd you offer to take her home? Because part of me knows what a difference we could make in her life, but the other part of me knew you'd never let me do it. Nice to know I'm that predictable. I got lucky. A great family found me and made all the difference. Every kid should at least get a chance. Betsy. Kenny. For both those kids, it will get better. I don't know that. Maybe Betsy will get adopted by a nice family and they'll all die. Maybe Kenny will go to a new school and this time the bullies will have a knife or a gun. Listen to me. Two years ago, if someone had told you we'd be engaged, in love, <laughs> Things change, Cooper, when you're not looking. <laughs> what do you think about starting family? Now? Not now, but soon. We're engaged. These are the kinds of things that engaged people discuss. How can you be thinking about babies when we're doing this? <laughs> you do know that this is how babies get made, right? Not the way I do it. No. Okay. I'm serious. We, we do want to have kids of our own, right? Can we talk about this later? Babies are a wonderful gift. For God's little creatures, who is Addison to be questioning my motives anyway? What is she, the motive police? I don't have to explain anything to her. I mean, last time I checked, my mom lived in Alabama. What? I'm just waiting for you to finish. So what's on your mind, Cooper? You don't fight fair. You don't listen to the other side, Charlotte. You don't hear people out. You don't answer questions. And when you want to get out of something, you... you what you are know, you talking well, about? With, uh, Addison, you just walk away, and with me, you sex. You have a problem with that? Yes! No. Yes, we are engaged, and having a discussion about children is important. And in my mind, I asked you a pretty simple question that you don't seem to want to answer. I told you we'd discuss it later. What's the big damn deal? Why? Why later? No, see, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. You can't just stick your heels in when you don't like the conversation. Just say, later, or just walk away. Yeah. At least I finished. I'm not the mommy type. I don't like kids, and I don't want kids. And I'm a pediatrician. I love kids. I've always wanted kids. I need to have kids. They'll like you more than they'll like me. I'm not... warm. They will love you. What if I end up like my mother? Drunk at noon, hating the rugrats I'm supposed to love, screwing up our kids, damaging them? See? Now you're gonna leave me. This is why I didn't want to talk about it. Charlotte, I'm, I'm not leaving you. We're having the conversation. And you didn't walk out, and you didn't shut down, and you didn't try to confuse me with sex. We're having the conversation. And we can keep having it. We don't have to decide right now? We don't have to decide right now. What now? Now you can confuse me with sex. Yeah? Yes, please. Take the clothes off. Mm. That tastes even better. <laughs> mm. What are you doing? Club four play. Stop looking at my stomach like that. Before. Like you're trying to picture a baby in there? Oh, I'm doing no such thing. Oh, Charlotte. Don't be that way. Don't even 
not shut that door. Do not close those blinds. Cooper, do not take your pants off. We're in the middle of a fight. Calling a truce. Good luck with that. No. I just need to see a doctor. I just hate to see you need to take it easy. Are you, are you a real doctor? You I need to pipe a... down and sit down, watch your turn. Someone will be with you in a minute. Pipe down. Lively in here tonight, huh? Halloween brings out the crazies. Mm. What's that? Oh, this? Uh, this is a miniature Alabama land cake that was made just for you. Is that how we make up now? With sweets? No, no. This is a bribe. This is how we make up. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. There'll be no more baby talk, no pressure. I mean, I don't even want to see a baby. Ew, babies. Hmm. I just want to see you happy. You're very cute when you're lying. And maybe we can practice not making a baby. I plan on it. 